Every time I hear it, Anne, it's an answer so many be here every year na. O tum for o say to to a baby o tosu mi no. O pemso na 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 montra ko na eni a hima fu ni no mo asante maso. The regional minister, Kumasi Mayor, MPC ni na eni DCs eni MCs. The Church of Pentecost eni asobrem ma o mo area siya fani ni na. University of Ghana, Nititu Center for Aging Studies. Old student of Yasantwa Girls Senior High School, Peace Hill Senior High School, Team Safwa, Ebusia Four, Ghana Mine Na. Me damase di edika ye beda otumu fo na kopon ase e wade fe fa waye e di amaye menim sem kuni die ye di di biada na mesan so adamase mititu e wo ahofa mane ahose pene odo amantan ne di atre me e wa kensi e mu nyina besi ene meni aso na menim sem be kwaso aye Nelson Mandela said and I quote no one truly knows a nation until one has been in its jail a nation is not supposed by how it treats its higher citizens by its lowest ones. We have one way or the other been in the lowest moments, even now, some people have. But whenever you find yourself on the brighter side of life, you always have to take a turn and shine on the other side. Tonight is all about emotions, enthusiasm and passion about my project, which is the Prisons Project. And I crave in your indulgence that you will support me with the little you can, your vote, your prayers. And I will definitely come knocking your door to join me so that we can make Ghana, Mother Ghana, proud. Kindly dial star 713 star 13 hash and follow the prompt to vote Safwa S-A-R-F-O-A. Or you can download the Timothy Reality app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. The name still remains Safwa. Thank you so much and I appreciate you. I love you all. Family accept me. Or oh, I should go back. No. People will laugh at me. What will I do? No! 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 In front of me. Are three roads, two leading to my destruction, and one to my destination of which I can't get access. Just as my full body was incarcerated in the cell, my mind was swallowed in so much pain I need not to tell. In the corners of society, they see me as the devil. From dawn to dusk, as if they have been taxed, but with no one to ask, I still ask, why do you judge me when the only difference between us is I was caught and there are some innocent souls still perishing in the cells. Now my real home is no more home because I don't belong. So I've been thrown away. 
and I have no other place than the cells. But even there, how do I survive with one city, 80 pesos as budgeted by government for each prisoner a day? Out of 44 prisons built in the country, others have the capacity of accommodating 700 inmates, but they are the same places housing 4,000 people, which is six times the number. Rehabilitation and counseling sessions are ineffective because of massive overcrowding. The officer to inmate ratio is imbalanced, so we tend to spend more time with each other. We form cliques and build and learn new tactics, and we become harder than we came. Is this what we created? See, the facility that was built as a cor correctional center is now a breeding grounds to creating hardcore criminals. What are we not doing right? Out of 7,709 inmates convicted in 2015, as reported by the Ghana Prison Service, these people, almost 70% of them were between the age range of 18 to 35 years, which falls under the age bracket of the youth. See? Think about this critically. How do you see the success and the future of the country when more than half of almost 8,000 prisoners are the youth? Crime rate keeps increasing in the country. Ex-convicts go back into the cells. What are we not doing right? This is my cry. This is my burning passion. <laughs> Oh no, we keep struggling each day, but irrespective of I being a victim of indifference, I will not be silent. However, these are the five interventions I strongly believe when implemented will turn the country around that I have termed agenda brief BRRIF firstly breaking out of societal stigma and prejudice through educating the public through educating organizations churches families we can come together and accept these people for they need love just like we all do we can show them the reason to relive their lives and contribute towards national development number two which is reformation of our criminal justice system i appeal to the lawmakers of this country could we possibly reform the 61 year old criminal offenses act 1960 we can adopt the non-custodial sentencing guidelines where i don't need to spend three to ten years in prison for stealing a goat chicken or an ice cream but these first second degree felonies or crimes can attract communal punishment like going into your areas and being punished to scrub the choked gutters, to clean, to serve as a deterrent to Amma, Kofi, and other citizens who are closer. I believe by so doing, these people will all help to reduce the crime rate of the country and we will be gradually resolving our sanitation issues number three rehabilitation and counseling sessions together with counseling agencies and religious bodies such as the church of pentecost my church that i am so proud of they have expressed their interest through embarking on projects to support our prisons we can drive the message better to these people number four last but not the least we should augment vocational education to these people together with the Ghana Prison Service and other interested parties. We can create 
more vocational skills for these people so that they can be financially supported. Lastly, follow up teams. We will not leave these souls to perish and meddle in the mud when they are released in societies, but there will be follow up teams that will progressively monitor and track their success and their well being. We are doing this one soul at a time, one impact at a time. Do you believe that we can do this as a country? We must arise because this can work. I believe that if we are able to help reintegrate these people better into society, it will pave this way for us to be restored, for us to rewrite our stories again. Now we can freely walk on the path of restoration. On my Ghana, ebe to me a ye ye. Yanka ye humbum. Now on my Ghana, embe a crabeshe. On my Ghana, en to me for nento ma pa enfra. Ne ye ja ama e tree maso so abe twampun to jume ye so. Now on my Ghana, e di inkunim. Na na nom. Ahima for distinguished judges and invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. Me di e de safua. Thank you. Safua from the Ashanti region, ladies and gentlemen. Do it better for Safua. Thank you very much for your encouragement. Let me just go to Fritz for his comments on this performance. Safua, you walked it. You've touched the stars. It touches my heart because at a certain time in my previous incarnation, I was responsible for some of the prisons in this country. And I realized the problems and you articulated it right to the T. You've done extremely well and I'm telling you, you walked it. Well done. Those are the words of Fritz. Moving to Linda. The only comment is, I had a lot of we, 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 you and who. <laughs> because it's a tall order. So I kept hearing we, we, we. Somebody has to lead. And if this is going to be a project, it means you are leading. That is the only thing I did not hear clearly from you. Do you understand that? Yes. I know you have to do a lot of collaborations to be able to do what you want yes. to do, but we in India, it has to be I, together with so, yes. uh -huh. then you own it because it is your project, but it's a very, very, very big task, but we all will support you. Well done. Do it for Safwa one more time from the Ashanti region. <laughs> Safwa, kindly you pick up your question and hand it over to me. Safwa, this is your question, and it says, the Ghana Education Service, GES in 2017, officially banned all forms of corporal punishment of children in schools in Ghana as part of efforts aimed at promoting a safe and protective learning environment for children. What, in your view, are the positive and negative implications of this directive? Okay, thank you very much for the question. Um, firstly, I would like to point out the key words in this question, which is the corporal punishment and protective learning environment. So when we talk about corporal punishment, it is basically a form of punishment that inflicts pain on either the student or the people or whoever is the receiver of that punishment. And a protective learning environment is an environment that is conducive, free of threat and pain. So looking at the at the positive, of, the positive side of um, having this policy, I will start with the negative, since I think the positive will definitely outweigh the negative. If we look at these kind of punishment, gone were the days where, I remember back in SHS, you are afraid to not to go to class because, or you are afraid to go to class because your teacher will start with mental, five times 15 and you start panicking, so at some point you don't even want to go to school. So I think looking at the positive bit, it encourages students 
to go to school to have a free mindset. That is the positive if we are to um, implement such policies. Students will have free minds to go to school and they would be free from fear and panic when they go to school. And looking at the negative aspect of it, with the negative, it will breed notorious and recalcitrant students. Notwithstanding, let us rather look at the intention of punishment. We have other forms of punishment. We have reinforcement and punishment, negative and positive punishment. You can take out the corporal aspect and still tell the student or your child why this is good, why this is bad. So I think the baseline of this whole punishment, this whole thing is, we are supposed to rather teach the children, the kids, what is right and what is wrong. In, I think, 7th September, there was a news circulating over social media about a student in Japan's uh, beaten by a headmaster, and the reason for that beating, so that punishment wasn't really known. So you realize that um, the teacher was just unleashing the anger on the student. So we are looking at what the student has done and then what needs to be corrected. So I think in the long run, we are supposed to look at the correction and the impact that it would have on the student. So with the positive back again, it makes the student free and then will be, the student will be free from threat and fear and will be able to study because an environment that, that doesn't have any threat, an environment that doesn't make you afraid, you will be able to learn. And then also it doesn't make the students timid because mostly when you are afraid, you tend to keep things to yourself. But if you are courageous, if you are um, bold, or if you are not punished, it will make you come out and you'll be able to come out as the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Safwa.